oh no, there is something missing from the terminal, the navigation terminal. Could it quite possibly be? Because Nora's Mix Volume 6 has ended, it has gone. He has hoping you spent the Nora Nora's Mix Volume 6 creds, because now all you can do is turn them into credits, because n now. Whoa, whoa, back it up, back it up. Why is the phone ringing? Few issues later, there it is! Tune in to Nora's Mix Volume 6, showing us the new items. I know there are people here for one thing and one thing only, to actually have a look at these items. I could be a real pain about this and just jump straight into what acts are actually there this week, but no. We'll start with the rewards for this. From this image, I assumed he had something behind his back. He does. He could say. He hates that pose. <laughs> but the... St okay, not bad. Stalker with the hate. Stalker in action glit. There is the, the mask, which we actually get to have a proper look at in-game, rather than it just being a still image. And not too bad, but... Uh, yeah, the nose piece was exactly what I thought it looked like. It looks like coat hooks on the nose. Is that where the stalker's going to hang his hate after he's taken revenge? Hmm. Well, to be fair, that's a... Uh, take that one with a grain of salt. Oh, can't say it that well. Sorry, Severgoth, you're going to have to go to be able to show that properly because... The armor is a shoulder plate, and I mean, you can actually see it. It's not too bad, but it's got a blade on it. I would love the ability to run into and shoulder charge the Grenier with some of these shoulder plates that they have brought out. Don't know what the thing at the bottom is, but does not go too well with uh, Sivagoth's hooks. Actually, or are they the hooks that are meant to be on this? We'll come back to that. No, no, they're not. They can't be because it's on the elbows. We'll come back to that one. There is the Stalker's Mark. Some dally. Mm-hmm. It's not the bit that goes over your head. Some dally goes on the front of your ship. I was wrong. A few people corrected me on that one. I apologise. If you have the skin for Stalker's ship, that could go really well. I can still not believe they had... Such an amazing quest, such as Jade Shadows, and then followed it up with what could be done in about 40 to 50 seconds with Lotus Eaters. Which is the only reason I've included that part about the pager going off, for the record. That could look pretty good on the front of the ship. Uh, I'll just do it that way. There are augments, ooh, for the dread. Become invisible for five seconds after you strike three or more enemies with a single projectile. Dread, it's the bow. Mm. Deal 175% more crit damage while you're invisible, but only with the dread. That could be interesting. And you will notice I missed one of these out. Yes, the three times Spectre, I, I know, wait, wait, I'll get there. Spectres. Stalker Spectres, meaning you can deploy a clone of the Stalker to fight for you. That should say with you. The fact it says Stalker to fight for you doesn't really seem fair. With you would have been so much better and technically after the whole Jade Shadows update, a little bit more respectful, especially if he appeared with that green glow around him. People who haven't completed that quest wouldn't get the reference anyway, but everybody else would just, every time he comes running in, smile. The big problem with this reward, however, is you only were only going to get three. That does in fact say five. And I can actually prove this because this does in fact still say three Stalker Spectres. From the post that they made all that time ago. Pretty hard to believe it was only 13 days, but still. Three Stalker Spectres. Five is what they actually went for, which is great. Absolutely lovely. But, one big thing. What order are these going to be in? 
guess we'll just find out by going to Nightwave. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Can you say it? Just instantly, it is right there in your face. It's a reusable blueprint. See the infinity symbol in the corner? It is a blueprint that will use fairly common rewards that will build five stalk aspect. It's not five built stalk aspectors, which is what I was expecting considering everything said stalk aspectors. Ignored the word blueprint the second that screen loaded up. All I saw was the infinity symbol in the corner and got a big smile on my face. That's huge. Because now, the st okay, Nightwave is worth doing till at least level 6. Because at level 4 would be the coat, coat hook stalker mask. The reckoning mask is what it's actually called. I do like the glyph as well. The little smoke glyph. Oh, come on. Nice choice in colours for Nora's Mix Volume 7 as well. Stalker creds. Look at the little image in the corner. That actually looks damn nice. Ooh. Oh, it's the two-handed Nakana skins going to be there. The Wolf Salute. Melee Riven mod. Some Dali is level 10. So by the time you've got to rank 10, for the record, we're about two weeks into this because you should be able to get somewhere in there. To be fair, you should be able to get these Spectres within a week doing all of these. So next week, you should be able to get the Sum Dali. After that, there is a lot of Saturn 6 related items. Arcane Precision. Hate. Burning Hate. Ooh, with an... Ooh. Nice choice of name. Mm. This uh, would seem like I'm praising Digital Extreme. Mm. I've got to stop doing that one as well. Burning Hate. When hate damages enemies inflicted with heat status, so you're going to want to put heat status on hate, they become vulnerable to 120% more status damage. Damage being the key word. Not chance. Damage. Ooh. The glyph of all things is at rank 17. That's where you get to a point where you're boasting that you got that high up. After that, okay, we've formed Ephemera. I actually got the name right for a change. That's been a while since I think that's been around at 19. The Reckoning Oculus, a completely different piece to the Stalker collection. They didn't list this one anywhere, did they? 22. 23 is the Nightwave ship, ship decoration. This isn't actually the landing craft. This is the decoration to place in your orbiter. I would go and demonstrate it, but I will be a thousand percent honest. I do not know where I place this. Like a lot of them, I've lost them. They're in different places. There's the Dread Augment. Um, Lisette Domestic Drone. That's kind of a... Okay. I just noticed the ears. The Reckoning Earpiece. Hmm. The one thing to do Nightwave for? All of this aside, this is just adding more reasons to actually do this. The Umbra Format at rank 29. We'll just very quickly do that again. Holy, that is huge. So I was right, those spikes that were on there weren't supposed to be there, but it has a kind of ripped off sandana effect on the back of it. See? Much better image. Ignore the eyeball underneath it, the glowing part. That is in fact my emblem that it took off one arm but didn't take off the other. And yes, my frost has nothing on his shoulders. That is on purpose. I will never add anything back because they removed the function to take them off. That could have been added back. I don't know. The big thing about this that you'll start to notice is um, it has despair to it. And when I say that, if I can get the angle just kind of right, it has the blades from despair sticking, oh there we go, sticking out of it. So it's like the weapon pouch from your hip on your shoulder. So you can grab them from your shoulder and throw them while being able to use it. 
Oh, that would have oh, that would have been a great place to put the the pouch that holds despair for despair on the shoulder, so you can pull them from your shoulder and throw them, rather than from your waist and throw them, and then you could still have a melee weapon in the other hand. To be fair, weapon wise, the glaive prime is always probably the best one to go for. If you don't already have it, the prime one is obviously better. Yes, but. On your way there, may as well get the normal one because you can dual wield it with a single-handed secondary. Dark Sword is better than Dark Dagger. That would be three melee weapons, three skins, Saturn 6, not too bad. Elite Acts of Completed Defense Mission reaching at least wave 20, that's actually pretty easy. Collect 20 different types of resources, head off to Railjack, do those, and you will get that done pretty quickly. They are the permanent weeklies of kill 500 enemies while doing 15 missions and kill 30 Xmas. Normal, uh, normal weekly missions. Complete six invasion of any type. Does that mean you're finally going to have the Fomorian turn up that has been, what is it? Is it two weeks or three weeks late at this point? And collect 4,000 resources. You will probably do that while getting 20 different ones. That's just 4,000 of across all resources. And they're not timed for the daily yet. Electrical damage and complete a mission. Those two are also very easy. And if you complete all of these, you are basically about here. By the time reset happens, come this Sunday, you will easily be able to get the stalker specters like ridiculously easy. Expected to be more news about this in the update release notes that basically says war prize quest changes that fixed a few things, changes to increase the reactor drop rate in void fisher missions by approximately 20% and then went on to make jokes about that and fixes to defense and lots of other things and it never once mentioned the update. The war Nightwave we're going to completely ignore the fact if you go to latest news, it's not there either. And it's been quite a while since this update actually came out. So, um, hopefully soon. But until then, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.